<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome in. It is Back to the Beach with Stephen and Kristen. I'm Stephen Coletti. I'm Kristen Cavallari. There she is. And here we are. We are in the flesh together at Dear Media Studios, bringing you another episode of Laguna Beach, the real Orange County. And I'm excited about this one. I'm not going to lie. Juicy one. I Holy love that we're smokes. in person for this one. <laughs> yes. I didn't. I never saw this episode. I didn't know oh, this happened. Wow. I got a little bit of, of a lead from Dieter who said, have you gotten to the fight the slide? I was like, oh, yeah, great episode. You know, we raised some money. He's like, no, 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 dude. Do you know what happens in that episode? I was like, no. And he's like, dude, wait, just wait. And then oh, so I, he didn't even tell you what happened. He told me a little bit. And I was like, oh, you know, I would want to be surprised. I was yeah. like, just stop right there. I was like, oh, I don't remember any of this. And then I watched the episode. Holy shit. Yeah, holy shit. I actually didn't remember either. <laughs> but um, well, once I saw it, it all came flooding back to me. But wow. Yeah, this so, was intense. Guys. Yeah, this is this one is an all timer. I think we got to we got to put this in the power rankings, probably a Mount Rushmore of Laguna Beach mm -hmm. episodes. Uh, top three, even maybe even top two. Yeah. It is episode 15. And, and I think because it's very real, too. Like, this happened. You can't blame it on a timeline. You can't blame it on anything else. Like On oh, the producers, the editing. Happened. No, this is yeah. this is what, uh, you know, MTV is, is recording all these hours. And we've mentioned this before. I mean, they set a lot of stuff up, but they also run cameras all damn day at these events. And then you guys only see three minutes of the event. Mm -hmm. They're doing that because, and they have multiple cameras, of course, everywhere. For moments like this, they got to get it. And man, props to the camera guy. Uh, even even I think you even see some of the um, some of the producers kind of running yeah, around at one point. But I mean, my jo my jaw hit the floor, and look, I, I honestly I felt extremely bad for for Lauren. I should yep. say this from from the jump. Um, but it's it's tough because this is the what we talk about. It's like guys, you you do not want to mix a lot of alcohol in reality TV because these are the moments the producers are waiting for. That's the biggest takeaway I'd say from this podcast. Don't drink on camera. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you learn anything, take that away. You know, and I think I've given that advice to a couple of people over the years and it's definitely been cemented after after watching this back. But yeah, you guys, it is as you could tell, uh, episode 15, I saw you kiss her. Uh, it aired October 31st, 2005 and it was described to you as Everyone comes together to put on a benefit when a devastating landslide hits Laguna Beach. But sparks fly backstage when Jason starts messing around with his ex right under Elsie's nose. Mm. His ex, she has a name. Her name is Jessica. <laughs> we just did an episode with her. She Rude. is wonderful. And oh man, did they get a little too saucy uh, for this one. Um, so I will say yeah. that's that was a little explanation I got on um, online from, from MTV. But then <laughs> Paramount Plus, they have it as Jason kisses Jessica and gets busted by LC. Look out. That's just the only description <laughs> so of the episode. It's funny how different they are. <laughs> yeah, but I mean that's uh, I mean that's that's definitely but that, the, that the sums it up. <laughs> but I was so I was looking forward to this episode because it is a moment where you have there's kind of a converging of season one and season two. Yep. Uh, like we mentioned in the last episode with Jessica, you've got the, the LA mix is kind of coming in. Talon's coming down with his band. You see Frankie Delgado yes. in the front row, yes. who is now becoming friends with Talon. So he's coming into Laguna. Uh, Heidi is there. And so it's it's funny. I There's a lot of people that when they come up to me and they go, oh, Laguna Hills. And I was like, oh, you know, kind of different shows. I'm like, they everyone really blended mm -hmm. those two shows together. And when I was first kind of getting in the business, I kind of left Laguna and was like, oh, I don't want to do the Hills. I'm trying to carve out a career in acting and I feel like I just need to step away from reality TV and it would always kind of irk me that people were like the hills oh you're on the hills and yeah. I was like no no it's they're different shows but now <laughs> I see in these last couple episodes you've got all these personalities yeah. that are mixing and teeing up what, what eventually is gonna be in the hills so I, I, I totally understand why people are like oh this is just more of the kids from Laguna starting yeah. to come it's into the true. limelight. It's true. I yeah. know. I know. I loved this episode, though, because, well, <laughs> it was just entertaining. <laughs> but because it is a lot of the this, the old crew, the season one crew. You have Trey, Dieter, you, Polster. I mean, it's it's very reminiscent to season one. Yeah. Yeah. And and seeing that little bit of the mix of, of season two. But also you get to see how some of these guys have, have grown up a little bit. Like, yeah. How hot Apparently, did Polster get? Polster. Now we can call Polster hot Polster. <laughs> I've moved on from hot Sam. <laughs> Clearly, I like Polster now. <laughs> Speaking of hot Sam, I was telling you this off camera. I remember that shooting that episode because you were dating Sam at the time or you guys were definitely. Yeah, because that was the summer. Yeah. And, and we did. We did because I dated Sam the end of sen senior year. And when I first moved up to L.A. and I was living in my first apartment, we were dating. So mm. I definitely was dating him here. And I remember I had a conversation with him outside after the event and I was sitting there chatting him up and I was like, so not, not going to go on camera. Huh? He's like, nah. I was like, how hard did they try? He's like, yeah, they 
they call me pretty much every week. Oh God, I was I'm like, sure. oh man, well, I actually love that he didn't want to be on camera. Yeah, you know, now I think maybe I appreciate it more than I did back then. But I think it's really cool if someone's like, no, I don't want to be a part of that. Oh, 100 percent, because a lot of people were like fuck MTV, and then they would sign that waiver and then they'd show up at those parties. Like, just look at the party of when we come back from Christmas break after the first season is aired. There's so many people at Lowe's house now. We used to be like, oh, just yeah. help people who are okay yeah. with being on camera. Now Lowe's house is just jam-packed with Everyone people. Everyone wants like, to be oh, on where it do I sign? Literally, though. <laughs> uh, which is really funny. Uh, but yeah, I give him a lot of respect for that. But what do you think it what was it with Polster? Did we, we had a hair change. You know, he just looked good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he, he just grew up a little. He did. He did the uh, freshman fifteen in the in the other direction. Maybe maybe he, yep, like, he slimmed yep, up a little yep, bit. Yep. And and uh, he he got a haircut. He got his quarterback <laughs> cut. So there it was. That's funny, actually. Holster's kind of hot. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I love that was the takeaway. We, we're all coming together. This was obviously a, a serious deal. As we'll, we'll get into um, a little bit uh, as far as you know a little background of what happened with the slide, but. Yeah. Um, that was my takeaway from the whole thing was that Polster was hot. <laughs> Not what a great thing we're well, doing here with the fashion show. <laughs> it's funny because there is it's this really great thing that we're putting together. But there's also just still these 17, 18 year old kids running around doing a charity event, which is and, and some of them. Look, you, you've got Trey and, and Polster and Lauren who, you know, they had their shit together more in sense of like, you know, they're like Trey was he had AYA active young Americans. This was what he did. And he was always thinking this way very mature, but then he's wrangling a bunch of immature kids, yeah. <laughs> all of us, yeah. you know, trying to keep everyone on time, trying to work it out, trying to block it, the dress rehearsal. <laughs> Lauren says to, to Jessica, Jessica's like, wait, I have to dress up. Lauren's like, it's a dress rehearsal. And I was like, I ooh, the foreshadowing of that evening. Seriously. In hindsight, very interesting. Um, Lauren which, had a, gr- a lot of great one-liners on the, in this episode. You know what? When I was, so first of all, I was so floored by the whole last act or the whole, yeah, the whole last act of the episode. I had to go back and watch the whole episode again and actually yeah. like carve out some notes. But I was like, Lauren's got some good ones. And I she stood actually, up for herself. Like I was like, pr- I was watching it proud of Lauren. I was like, OK, she can. Me too. Yeah. Like she really stood up for herself and gave Jessica some shit, which was well deserved. I'm sorry, Jessica. I love you. But I was proud of Lauren. And look, <laughs> Lauren is handling her business sober in this episode, yeah. making smart choices, running the show. Jessica is obviously showing up intoxicated. Jason, I mean, a lot of us were obviously we were kind of getting festive for, for the event. Yeah. Um, but that that is a perfect juxtaposition of <laughs> what can happen to you on a reality TV show if you're drunk on camera. Because, yeah, I mean, Jessica, you know, she said it. She she you know, she was really drunk and, and wishes that didn't happen. As we spoke to her in this last episode. Um, but yeah, Lauren, you know, she she does. She stands up for herself. She tries to avoid it. She doesn't want to fight with Jason on camera. <clears throat> which I actually give her a lot of credit. There's that moment when they we're kind of getting a little ahead of ourselves, but just to brush on a little bit, when when Jason's trying to talk to her, he's like, I don't want to talk to you. She's like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. And he's like, come on. And then she finally is like, you know what? Fine. I'll talk to you. You want to do this on camera? We'll go yeah. do this on camera. And pulls him over, still pulls him away from other people, that lets the cameras come along, and then just Calls him out on his shit. Yeah. And um, and I like, too, that she didn't go after Jessica. You know, I yeah, mean, she really yeah. went for Jason and she blamed Jason. I mean, obviously, it takes two to tango, but Jason's the one who is in the relationship, not Jessica. And we kind of talked about that earlier in the season. Mm-hmm. Um, And so, you know, it, it seems like usually the girls always go after the other girl and the guy just walks away unscathed. So mm. I actually really appreciated that Lauren went to Jason, went to the source. I thought it was a good a good move. Yeah. She seems very mature in this episode. She, yeah, she she was. And again, to have that, you know, especially knowing that, you know, it's not like this is all new to her. She's already done a season of of Laguna, everything that happened in the first season. And now this is happening. And she's just in a I think that Dieter Dieter mentions to uh, Jason where he's like, hey, you know, this is the one thing I said, like, don't mess with Lauren if you're hooking up with her. And so it's this is a little earlier on, I think it's during their hookup stage, right? <laughs> yeah. But still deep into it where it's like, okay, we're exclusively hooking up with each other. They've probably been seeing each other for like a month or two yeah. on the verge of of making it official. Um, so I, I wondered how much of what we saw with, with the date stuff, um, uh, you know, yeah. is, is kind of put before that. And I, it was interesting. I wanted to read a little bit about the event uh, that we put on. And so I found an article from our uh, our local paper mm. and it was and it was august 19th of 2005 when we did this and i know in june oh. is when the, the the slide happened and oh uh, in the article adam Develo, <clears throat> uh the produ- one of the producers of laguna beach the, the main producer if you will uh, he is quoted in saying that this episode is going to air 
uh, shortly uh, in September. And the and episode actually airs in late October. So oh. he's obviously quoted before doing the event. And I'm wondering, and I actually text him about this. I'm You're like, like a detective. Yeah, I'm like, it. wait, so <laughs> did like, MTV just not expect this? Of course, well, of course they didn't expect it to happen. But yeah. after this happened, did they then be like, oh, you know, we were only do 15 episodes this season. Now we got to do more because now we got to really lean into the Lauren oh, and Jason stuff, yeah. tee it up even more yeah. leading up to fight the slide. I text Adam Devell about it. He's like, dude, I don't remember. He's like, really? oh, he's like, yeah, he's like, I, he's like, that, that could be the case. I mean, we were kind of always adding episodes. Oh, um, interesting. But I think after, you know, obviously this happened, I was like, they must have. Can't end know, the season there. We got to figure out what happened. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like we, we need to carry it on a little bit. But yeah. anyways, I think, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll touch a little more in, in all of that, which was, you know, the whole last act they just dedicated to, to these very real IRL moments uh, yeah. between Jason and Lauren and, and Dieter and, and very fascinating stuff. And Dieter, what a great guy. Mm -hmm. I love him. He was such a good <laughs> friend to Lauren. I he, thought it was so sweet. Yeah, I, I, I think he was he was right there, you know, on guard. I feel like uh, mm -hmm. kind of seeing it all go down as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, protecting Lauren and like taking her in. She didn't want to cry on camera. She was her whole thing. She's like, I don't want to be, uh, you know, made to be stupid on camera. I don't want to cry on camera. And, you know, obviously that whole situation, um, you know, it, it led to that. And, and you know, Dieter is, is taking her in and, and saying, you know, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah. And she, again, another <clears throat> strong moment from her where she was like, she she holds it in and she's like, she cries for like A two second. seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and into Dieter's chest. Yeah. And he's like, stop, stop, hold it, hold it. And she's like, okay, okay. She, and then she snaps back in and, um, you know, to that, like, let me just clip this cleaned up so yeah. I can get the fuck out of here. And then I'm sure she probably broke down when she oh, got home off camera, you know, of course. but I was, I mean, the, you know, my jaw's on the floor watching this, but my, my takeaway was obviously feeling so sad for Lauren yeah. that she is on camera. We're doing this event. She's in a new relationship. Clearly the event, the relationship is going well. Mm. Like we've all said that we feel like this, what's going on between Lauren and Jason is something that's sweet. There is a connection. It's real. Unfortunately, Jason, you know, went to the dark side this day and, and, you know, drank excessively. And, and, you know, because of that, you know, he wasn't himself and, and was making poor decisions. And look, it, even I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to justify his actions, but you know, it seems like from when Dieter says, you know, you, you guys have been hooking up. And so it's, they're not fully in a relationship yet. It's n still not excusable, but I feel like that's why you know, I could see that. I think when Lauren and Jason, they dated for a while because, look, this was early on. Yeah. And maybe they weren't necessarily official yet. Mm -hmm. But I know Jason and Lauren did date for a while. And it's not something that he would, you know, I, I think he he got past of like the guy that was like just blatantly hooking up with girls at the yeah. same time. I yeah. mean, Lauren wouldn't, Lauren obviously would not put up with that shit, you know, for that long. They wouldn't date that long. So, you know, it's like it was easy for him after a few drinks to slip right into that you know, that juvenile There's, Jason yeah, that yeah. was, that was just, you know, obviously making poor decisions. And I mean, you could, that you can actually see it with him by the end of the episode. You, there, there is somewhat of a connection going on where he's like, fuck. Yeah. I, I did fuck up. Yeah. Like that was a bad decision and he's, he's kind of sobering up and he's coming, you know, and there's that really incredible moment at the end of the episode where he's sitting on that chair trying to talk to Lauren. She's want to talk to me more. He's just sitting there in his thoughts and Lauren says her goodbyes and then walks right past him. Yeah, I know. I know. It was intense. This was probably, I thought, the most entertaining episode. I mean, I felt for Lauren, but very, very entertaining as a viewer. You know why it's really, really entertaining for you? Because it's not about me. It's not about us. <laughs> I know. I was just having fun, hanging out. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> All right, guys, we're going to talk to you about Factor here. During the prime spring season here, we've all got some busy schedules. We're trying to go on the move a lot. You're trying to spend time outdoors. You're trying to travel. At least I am. Hopefully you are too. Well, you need wholesome, convenient meals to energize you for all of this. Keyword convenient there. You got more active days and it can keep you on track to reaching your goals. So Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast with ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and you'll tackle everything on your to-do list with time left over to do the things that you want. That is right. You guys, are you too busy to cook this May? Well, with Factor, you can skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and the cleaning up too. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy, then get back outside and soak up that warmer weather. Love all that. And if you're looking for calorie conscious options ahead of summer, try delicious, dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. 
Need an extra boost of energy to support your wellness goals this spring? Try Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. All right, you guys, I'm giving you a personal favorite from Factor. Tried a bunch of their stuff. And I'm here to say the smoothies were definitely a go-to for me. So if you're looking for something to try, Factor, you want to give them a shot. No matter what you order, there better be some smoothies in that order. I've had the mango smoothie, which is really good. The tropical fruit, very delicious. Take them on the go. Super quick, super good for you. And you're nice and filled up. So check out the smoothies. Boom, there you go. All right, you guys, head to factormeals.com slash beach40 and use code beach40 to get 40% off your first box. That's code beach40 at factormeals.com slash beach40 to get 40% off your first box. Let's talk about KiwiCo, you guys. If you are not familiar with this company, for all of my parents listening, you're going to want to listen up. Trust me. If you guys listened last week, then I talked about how when I was growing up, I made a lot of forts and I loved it. And it just gave me a lot of confidence. I think that, you know, kids creating things and building things with their hands can, can really instill that confidence in them. And so I'm really excited about this company, KiwiCo, because they do just that. KiwiCo believes that every kid is naturally creative and curious and that hands-on experiences build creative confidence and problem-solving skills that can honestly change the world. KiwiCo delivers seriously fun learning for kids of all ages, whether it's about science or sensory play, games or geography. Every crate designed by their team of experts inspires excitement, curiosity, and moments of discovery. I've talked about it before, but we've gotten a few of these boxes at my house and my kids are still talking about these projects because yes, while you're making ice cream, which you know, you can do that on your own, but with these boxes, you are really learning the science behind it and how ice cream is actually made. KiwiCo delivers seriously fun, hands-on projects that will inspire a lifelong love for learning. KiwiCo projects spark creative confidence for ongoing tinkering and experimentation. Sure, you can buy a robot, but isn't it way more fun to build your own? KiwiCo crates are fun and stress-free, so you can enjoy quality time tackling projects together, which is what I absolutely love. Redefine learning with play. Explore hands-on projects that build creative confidence with KiwiCo. KiwiCo. Get 50% off your first month plus free shipping on any crate line at kiwico.com slash beach. That's 50% off your first month at kiwico.com slash beach. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, look, I think I, I said this in the beginning of this episode, I was floored by this because I just remembered the slide and then Dieter kind of gave me a little bit of a heads up what happens, but I just did not remember the extent of it at all. And don't, yeah, I don't think I even watched this episode because I don't remember any of this. And I was excited because it was like, oh, we're doing this. What was a terrible thing that happened? Um, you know, the slide, I remember it was early June. We'd just gotten back from college. I was at my parents' house and I woke up in the morning to Dieter's face. Oh, <laughs> leave it to Dieter, always taking care of all of us, all of our guardian <laughs> angel. Uh, uh, he, he appears in my face, waking me up. He's like, dude, you got to get out of the house. Got to get out of the house. The houses are sliding down the hill. So what? scary. And I'm like, Dieter, like, Dieter's always got these amazing stories of like these, what's like these grandiose, like things that are happening in his life. I was <laughs> like, I'm like, all right, wait, what, what, sliding down the hill, like, what are you talking about? He's like, come see this. And I, I walk out with him and we're standing on my driveway and four houses down the street are, you know, a four, is, is a $4 million house just casually sliding down the hill. So crazy. Like the weirdest sight to see of like yeah. still intact in a way and just sliding down the hill. Mm -hmm. uh, like it was a part of a river or something. Um, and yeah, a lot of them came down this one canyon, landed into this creek, and even pushed up uh, the, the decks of some of these houses at the bottom uh, back into their houses. Some, some of the houses that didn't slide were getting hit with other houses and having their you know, backyard shoved into their living room, if you will. And man, it was the devastation was, was crazy. I think mm -hmm. we say it in the show, it's you know, over 20 homes and um, a lot of places in Laguna, you, you can't have landslide insurance. So yeah. um, it was cool to obviously, you know, with, with the help of MTV to help logistics, but it's an IRL moment where Trey mm -hmm. would rally the troops. Absolutely. Uh, he's done this many times and get, we need to do something. I mean, it's, it's, he rallied us all for our little reunion uh, a couple of years yeah. ago for Get Out the Vote. Yeah. And so, you know, it's cool to then Trey using, you know, we're all trying to use MTV for like, hey, let's go to Catalina. Like, yeah. hey, can we get a jet ski? We're going to <laughs> Mammoth. Pay for my like, Cabo yeah. trip. <laughs> Trey's like, hey, MTV, can you guys pay for the space yeah, <laughs> so that we could do See, Trey's uh, a very good guy. <laughs> yeah. And, um, <laughs> You know, it it was it was fun to have everyone come together. In that and the and the town um, to have some people come up and support and to have MTV do something good because at this time the show is aired right mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people who are very protective of the community 
um, at this point, we were extremely pissed off of what MTV was pr- portraying the city as, all the attention that it was bringing to the city. So to have a moment of, of giving back and doing something good for the city, we, we were all for it. And it was yeah. nice to have that. And it was received well. But man, I mean, <laughs> there's that. But then there's just what happens behind the scenes. <laughs> which... You want to know what else I loved from this fashion show was Talon performing. Like, hello, Talon dropped out of high school to become a musician. And then we get to see him perform. It was yeah. so great. Alex Merle as well, who killed it. But I thought that was, I, and I had forgotten about that as well. So I was very excited to hear Talon perform. And he sang, what was it called? Somewhere Dead in Hollywood? Oh, yeah. Somewhere Dead in Hollywood. I don't even remember the name, but I, I, I just remember down. something about being dead in Hollywood, which was really funny. Somewhere Dead in Hollywood. There's that amazing look from Alex M. When we're all powwowing at Trey's house, one of the opening scenes, we're all, you know, trying to get everyone rallied together. Um, and Talon is like basically leaning up against the bushes, like sitting over to the <laughs> side. And Trey's like, Talon, you got you got your songs. And Talon's like, Yeah, I got my songs. I know. And then Alex M has that look over to a. I don't, I don't know. Were you there? Or you, nope, or maybe I was it's Jesse. Not there. Was, I don't yeah. think I got that invite. <laughs> it's a look to. Oh, it's Ta- Taylor. Uh, yeah. She shares a look with Taylor, which is so priceless and so funny because they're like, look at too cool for too cool for school talent over there, and just the excitement of like, oh my gosh, what kind of music is he producing? Like, what are we gonna see? <laughs> I remember we were all so excited to hear him perform. <laughs> By the way, though, that takes a lot of guts. I never in a million years could have done something like that. So I give him a lot of credit. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it was I, a big deal. We, uh, I, I created. Well, I didn't create, but I was involved with a band in oh, college. I didn't know this. We had like two recording sessions. There weren't what? even recording sessions. We just kind of all jammed together in a recording space in San Francisco. And I would sing. Wow, I would like to hear this. Blink, no, no. <laughs> I would sing Blink-182 songs. <laughs> that was like, that was kind of like our, that Let's was, go. That was our test run. <laughs> and so we did a couple songs and then it quickly, yeah, that quickly fizzled. Um, but I think we... Shout out to my guys from San Francisco there. I believe we named our band A Broken Roar. Oh, cute. Um, <laughs> which roar is a, a type of glass device you can smoke marijuana out of. <laughs> oh, that's really lovely. I love that. Um, I have a confession. I recorded a song, actually. What? Yeah, and I had every intention of releasing it us. like in we Europe. Just... Thank God I woke up to that and was like, Maybe. Right, releasing in Europe? Yeah. That like, was the goal. Like it wouldn't make it over here. Well, I was like, I don't want to release it over here, but like in Europe, you know? Yeah, no. Like, thank God I never, ever ever released to that thing. Um, but yeah, I definitely recorded a song. Okay, anyways. <laughs> big big props to Talon and Alex. Alex, you know, did great as well. But for Talon, it was, I think, a big deal. He Dude. knew the pressure that everyone was like, Talon, oh. what are you going to sing? And he got up there and, and he did it. He so, did it. Uh, props to him for that. Absolutely. I like the, the scene beforehand. Uh, there's a really interesting tee up classic MTV moment uh, before the whole event when you and Jessica and Alex are hanging out. And they have like four lines that are wild lines that are not on camera, yeah. but it's obviously talking about um, Lauren and Jason. And it's not where it's not the original pitch of, you know, when Jessica comes over and is like, will you, you know, basically asking you, will you come model before we go to the dress rehearsal? Oh, it's, yeah. it's the one later on where you guys are getting ready to actually go to the event. And because of what happens, then they do the tee up where um, they've got, uh, let me see. I want to get the lines. Exactly and by right. the way, be- these big events like that, they couldn't have actually gotten ready with us because they would have been at the studio prepping for all of us to arrive for the fashion show. So this is clearly a pickup scene as well. Yep. And so you've got you and Alex leaning up against like some sort of, um, you know, chest of drawers or something. And you both have your funny shirts oh, on. Your pillow talk is extra. Yeah. You're, uh, I love the tees. Uh, <laughs> those are great. And you guys are going back and forth. And then there's a full, which the first time it got me right away. And then it was like the last line at the end that it was, was such a wild line. I was like, wait a minute. And it kind of made me realize that I just had listened to like four wild lines and cut together. But there's the whole piece where they tee up Jason and Lauren. Um, and it's like, for some reason they have, they have Jessica saying in a wild line, I'm sure she'll be all over Jason. And then somebody else, I think it's Alex, says she's not the smartest cookie when it comes to guys. Yeah, I know. And then somebody else says she likes to be hurt or something. That was Jessica. I think then, I'm actually the one that said I'm sure she'll be all over Jason. Oh, okay. So you tee yeah. it up. Yeah, you tee it up yeah. with that. It's literally three wild, wild lines, lines from yeah. you, Jessica, and Alex. Yeah. And then it says, who cares? And I was like, oh, man, they really like... So that is... It's almost like devilish to make it seem like Jessica was going into the night almost like I if she's got her agenda of like wanting to hook up with Jason yeah. like I don't care if she's you know he's hooking up with Lauren like 
you know, I'm going to get in there. So I thought that scene was was very interesting um, for a very classic, you know, MTV moment. Yep. Um, <clears throat> but there's also before when we when sh- I'm backing up now a little bit. Sorry, guys. Uh, but when you guys have the powwow up at your house and she kind of teased it up for you guys of going to um, going to actually do the dress rehearsal. And <laughs> it's funny that you're kind of like you're kind of like, eh, whatever. You're like, yeah, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go. But they do a little more. Which uh, obviously I had to go. I mean, I was I knew I was going. This was not like <laughs> Yeah, but it, yeah, of course. And and in the show they they established that um or, or I think Jessica's like, it's your favorite person. That's right. I'm like, well, which one? I have so yeah. many. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lauren. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, I did not care anymore <laughs> about the whole Lauren drama at this point. So I, I have I have a little bit of a conspiracy about this scene. So okay. the way they tee the first time you even tee up, like kind of maybe something's gonna happen there. They decide to make this scene a little bit about Jessica still being into Jason. Yes. Which is interesting because that really was before. Yep. And then, and then as far as a viewer, it kind of comes out of nowhere because you think she's all hung up on Jeff, right? The yeah. last few episodes. And now all yep. of a sudden she likes Jason again. We're like, what? Yep. And I think that for some reason, having them having um, Jessica talk about it a little bit, then you... You have a kind of what I like to call a little bit of a fanning of the flame situation. <laughs> you get this little look in your eye and you're like, you still like him. And I was um, like, you're almost like the, the Regina George of like, let's just nudge her over to Jason a little bit. Now that Jason's hooking up with well, Lauren. I <laughs> bet this was a pickup happened? scene after that shit already happened. Well, you because no, but you're wearing the shirt that you wore to. Yeah, the, but to rehearsal. Yeah, but I would have. We did that all the time. They'd be like, you have to wear kind this of. outfit. They yes. Blaine. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. They did do that in the first. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They'd be like, I need you to wear this outfit. Oh, so that's why you did know, because I was yeah. like, damn, Kristen, like that's some that's or some I'm a four, psychic. I don't no, know. That's some like four moves ahead chess shit where you're like, <laughs> not that you're trying to I like, would love to take that much credit. But no, I guarantee this was after after it already. I wonder like subconsciously that you were like, oh, wait, Lauren seems really happy with Jason. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to come in here and that sabotage. Shit down. Fuck off. <laughs> so you're over the, you're over there just giving Jessica a little nudge. Hell like, no. you still like him, don't you? Yeah, you do. Oh, I can see it all over your face. And Jessica's like, oh, you can. Like, maybe we are meant to be. You just plant that little oh, seed. Oh God, no! Guaranteed, in Jessica's mind. <laughs> I would put money on that. This was a pickup scene, so I already knew that that show was going down. Oh man! Well, I would love to take that much credit, but yeah. So yeah. I mean, they once we get down into rehearsal, uh, it's weird. I think Jason was was pretty intoxicated pretty early on because yeah, he's fair to say <laughs> he's saying hi, baby, to her uh-huh. as they're walking down the the um the, the catwalk runway. there, and she's like, "Stop!" <laughs> Which I can tell that she's like, "Fuck, <laughs> you know that I am," you know basically whipped for you yeah and he's taking advantage of that and and getting her attention uh and and she's she's all over it. and as she mentioned to us like she i think she liked knowing that he still had something for her and and it, it drove her to then of course when she was you know drunk to make a, a very terrible decision but exactly. um yeah really interesting to see how mtv kind of carved this up teed it up I'm going to go with my conspiracy that you fanned the flames a little bit. <laughs> Fine, I'll, we'll you, take you it. You had that look in your eye. I know <laughs> this it. This was all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it's Wait. my fault. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, w- once we get to the event and, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but this is, of course, the going to beach the real Orange County. So it can't be an episode about this wonderful charity no, event. Absolutely it has not. has to be like, what, what's That's go- boring. What goes down? <laughs> and. Uh, you know, for for MTV counting their lucky stars, they got something really serious. Mm-hmm. And ooh, I don't know, um, man. I, I guess it's like, so they have a little bit of their Jessica's like dancing on, you know, Jason's lap, and then Lauren again, very calm, cool, collective. She kind of calls him out yep. when he comes over. Is like, if I talk to a guy, you would, I know, you would flip out on me. Like, you you got a girl dancing on your lap. So when Lauren's saying like, you know, you would freak out on me. <laughs> Over and I, I was like it. I can relate. This is what <laughs> yeah. we did that age, guys. You know, very sensitive and very protective in our in our scary ways. Um, so yeah, I mean, but you see the beginning of, of Lauren trying to, you know, be mature about the situation, and um, you would think that that would be it. But Jason was out, obviously not in his right mind, so it it carries on into the night. Which do they go into like some sort of? They're like around the corner somewhere. And then that first kiss happens. That's yeah. on camera. Yeah. And here's the thing. Who do you think kissed who in that moment? Well, now I think it was Jason, right? Or you think it was Jessica? Now I can't even remember. They're having a really. I feel for, like they thought they were down, off camera too. Because. Oh, yeah. Right. They obviously didn't think they were on camera. Yeah. This is a this is a scandalous seemingly like we're around the corner. No yeah. one can see us. Yeah. Let's get a kiss in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, So you think Jessica kissed him? 
Well, I think he kind of, he's the one that first kicks the door open a little bit. I yeah. Think it's definitely without primar- a doubt. Yeah, primarily yeah. his fault. But she went right in. I mean, she was like, I thought you Maybe would, it's almost right. like, a, okay. I thought you would never ask, you know, yeah. but nonverbal because he's, first of all, he's grabbing her by the face and said, you know, I still like you. So then that's the first kick the door open. And then he's kind of like, hey, hey, and he's leaning in towards her. And then she just is like, fuck it, I'm going to kiss him. Yeah. And she comes yeah. and meets him halfway. And they do a peck and then they're around the corner. And then you see Lauren saw the, she sees. You also see there's an MTV uh, producer that's on on camera. And then you see another producer run towards them and like <laughs> chase them around the corner. At first, I was like, wait, is that Cedric or is that a producer? I was like, no, <laughs> Cedric is in his underwear at this point. Yeah, yeah he's running around <laughs> so, half naked. So yeah, Cedric is making sure the bot is looking good <laughs> yeah. for, the, for the runway. <laughs> this is uh, MTV producers going like, all right, this is our moment. This is what this is what we this need. This is it. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, very interesting. I'm surprised we didn't get more of their dialogue after they kind of go around the corner, you know? It's, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I don't I'm, know. I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, look, they had to cut it all down, but they obviously went directly to Lauren. It could have just been... Maybe they just kind of walked away from each other when they went around the corner. Yeah. Oh, you mean when they're kissing? Well, they kiss and then they kind of walk around the corner together. And I don't well, know... Well, my guess is they knew that they just messed up so they kind of went their separate ways that'd be my yeah guess. or i wonder if that was the way that went up to oh, the, to the, the, the runway. runway yeah because then they would show that staircase and they made it they showed them coming up the stairs which made it seem like they might have walked off and gone downstairs somewhere oh. and then we're coming back up and jessica's got a big smile on her face <laughs> and i was like uh, oh, but i think that that is when they they are coming up up to the runway and, and yeah I, I you could see that uh it seemed like that it, it had just happened but you know, they get the point. It's like, oh, they they hooked up and you've got Lauren who witnesses this and then just... And then they both lie about it. Jason yeah. says she forced... He goes, she forced herself on me. That was fucked up. Yeah, she... Oh my God. Yeah, that, that was... They they both um, handled it you like, like a couple of teenagers. You can't lie when on camera. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, they, they were not in their right minds to know that their shit was on camera. But yeah, true. But you've got... Jason, who first says, "Yeah, she, no, I didn't. I didn't kiss her. She forced. She forced oh, yeah, herself first he on. Totally just. Yeah. It. yeah, and then it was like I saw you. She forced herself on me. <laughs> and then Dieter, um, look, well, let's talk. I want to talk about Lauren first. She handles it again from the beginning upstairs to when we're, we're down. So then when we're down there, she has a little powwow with him. Mm-hmm. She says to me a very poignant um, phrase where she says, "Why can't you just be happy with me?" Yeah, which I think is her seeing that clearly this guy is medicating something yeah. and as we've talked to jason we understand now what was all brewing back then um again very mature in that situation but she continues to handle her job not get too you know um Blustered. too messed up about it yeah <clears throat> yeah and she handles it and she's like all right we're gonna move on with our night and then it gets to a very serious moment she sees them kiss and she's just before we come up, cut to commercial break she walks inside and she's just like oh my I'm god shocked. like yeah. yeah you could see the pure yeah. shock of like did i really just fucking see that. I know. I know. My heart broke for her. But even after that, I mean, she kept it. She was very professional. You know, she was there to do a job. Very mature. I was so surprised by her reaction, probably because I would have been the complete opposite. <laughs> you would have lit, lit her up. Yeah, yeah. But I was I was really impressed with Lauren, I have to say. I really was. Yeah. And even before the kiss, when she's trying to, she's kind of, guess, giving Jessica a little bit some looks which Jessica is picking up on mm-hmm. uh, even with Jessica being you know drunk uh, clearly Lauren's like this girl's a mess yeah. and she has a couple of really good lines to her where she's like you need to get your makeup on mm-hmm. you need to get dressed mm-hmm. like and then she's like you know what I can't talk to her she's like a child yeah. which she's I mean Jessica is being a child <laughs> in this moment so Lauren's got that great line where she's like oh my god I can't talk to her she's like a child you know what just throw makeup on her throw clothes on her and she falls that's her fault. Yeah. And she walks away. And then you got Jen Bunny going, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've never seen you like this before. Which, <laughs> yeah. Which is, to me, I almost, like Lauren like this. Yeah, it was really good. I respected good. it. <laughs> I, I, it almost felt like a movie. It felt yeah. like something scripted where you've got Lauren, the, like, really sweet, good girl who, mm-hmm. who doesn't pop off on anybody, pops off on somebody. And then that really kind of, like, bubbly, fun friend that's like, whoa. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. You need to do that more often. And I know. It was very, very real uh, and uh, pure, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Which is which is fascinating stuff, you know, f- for the show. And then, um, of course, after the kiss, again, she's just like, Fuck, all right, I'm just going to do my job and I'm going to get out of here and I'll break down at home. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do this in front of the cameras. But, um, you know, she navigates that in, in a pretty, pretty big way with, you know, obviously didn't want to talk to Jason, but then she talks to him and then she just avoids him and then she leaves. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I really 
yeah, I was impressed with her. I and I don't remember anything after this. So I'm really excited to watch next week's episode and see the aftermath now because mm -hmm. couldn't tell you what happens. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't remember this episode at all. Yeah. I, I don't think I even saw it. So. OK, parents who are listening, let's talk about kids vitamins for a second, which I am passionate about. I know that's kind of silly, but I'm really excited to tell you about Haya because they are a clean children's vitamin. Did you guys know that typical children's vitamins are basically just candy in disguise? They're filled with two teaspoons of sugar, unhealthy chemicals, and other gummy junk that growing kids honestly should just never eat. That's why Haya was created, the pediatrician-approved, super-powered, chewable vitamin. While most children's vitamins are filled with five grams of sugar and can contribute to a variety of health issues, Haya is made with zero sugar and zero gummy junk, yet it tastes great and is perfect for picky eaters. You guys, I'm telling you, I've never had a problem getting these in any three of my kids. Haya fills in the most common gaps in modern children's diets to provide the full body nourishment our kids need with a yummy taste they love. Formulated with the help of nutritional experts, Haya is pressed with a blend of 12 organic fruits and veggies, and then supercharged with 15 essential vitamins and minerals, including vitamin D, B12, C, zinc, folate, and many others to help support immunity, energy, brain function, mood, concentration, teeth, bones, and more. It's non-GMO, vegan, dairy-free, allergy-free, gelatin-free, nut-free, and everything else you can imagine. All the things. Haya is designed for kids of all ages and sent straight to your door so parents have one less thing to worry about. Like I said, you guys, I've never had an issue getting these in my kids, and I love having peace of mind knowing that my kids are really checking all of the boxes. They're getting so many good nutrients in their bodies with these vitamins. It's it's also fun too, because they each have their own little bottle and they got to customize them with the stickers that come. And so they're all about it. And you guys, we've worked out a special deal with Haya for their best-selling children's vitamin. Receive 50% off your first order. To claim this deal, you must go to HayaHealth.com slash beach. This deal is not available on their regular website. So you guys are going to want to go to H-I-Y-A-H-E-A-L-T-H.com slash beach and get your kids the full body nourishment they need to grow into healthy adults. All right, you guys, we're going to take a second here to talk to you a little bit about ZocDoc. We've mentioned them before here on the podcast. I, of course, have used them before. ZocDoc is a very, very helpful app. Because how many of you have been there before where something's up, something's a little off, you're feeling a miss, and what do you do? You go to the internet. Or these days, probably most of you are going to social media. You're looking on TikTok. You're going on Instagram. You're doing the rabbit hole, trying to find a diagnosis for yourself, and, and you're taking the advice of some so-called experts. Well, we're here to tell you there are better ways to get the answers that you want and the care that you deserve from actual and trusted professionals and not just random people on the internet. ZocDoc helps you find expert doctors and medical professionals that specialize in the care you need and deliver the type of experience that you want. And it's all right there at your fingertips. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. There's no more doctor roulette or scouring the internet for questionable reviews. With ZocDoc, you have a trusted guide to connect you to your favorite doctor you haven't met yet. Millions of people use ZocDoc's free app to find and book a doctor in their neighborhood who is patient-reviewed and fits their needs and schedule just right. That's right, you guys. So go to ZocDoc. ZocDoc.com slash beach and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's ZocDoc.com slash beach. ZocDoc.com slash beach. You're going to want to check them out. Well, well, um, well, yeah, pretty juicy episode. I gave it an A for entertainment. Yeah. I'm 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 going A as well. As a viewer, phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, again, converging of season one and season two. Um, you even see some some kids from the hills in the crowd. Yeah. And then one of the most dramatic moments uh, of the whole series. Yeah, for and me. And very real. I think that's I think that's why I appreciate it so much as a viewer, is because I know that it was a real moment. Yeah. Where the other ones you can kind of argue a little bit, you sure, know? Sure, sure. They this one they oh. didn't really they didn't need to add it much no. to align the story of what happened. I mean 
kudos to the crew. They got it all. They got the, you know, the super long lens shot of them kissing in the corner. And the fact that Lauren saw the kiss too is like, it, it doesn't oh, yeah. get better than that. Yeah, yeah. Right? As a viewer. As I mean, a viewer. this is what you would write scripted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This was, I mean, it had all the characters too. Everyone coming together for this cause and the big event going on, mm -hmm. what's happening backstage. Like, this is stuff that you write in a scripted TV show. Um, That's true. Uh, but yeah, this, these are the moments that the producers are living for. So, um, what, what about a, personal, personal rating? I gave myself an A because I didn't oh. talk shit on anybody. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah. Are you sure though? I don't know. Again, did I fan in the flames there? Yeah, but that was a pickup. And Come then you have, a, you have a wild line of Lauren saying she'll probably be. Oh, I guess it's not but so that's bad. A wild you're like she'll, she'll be all over Jason. Yeah, and it's a wild line. I'm just giving you a hard time. You still, yeah. you know, you're still your role for the show. They had all these wild lines for you, <laughs> but I'm, really, I'm barely on it. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I'm just here for a good cause. Yeah, absolutely. It's like just trying to MC the event. I'm just. I'm oh yeah, you were so great. <laughs> I'm trying to prove to MTV that I could be a host. You're this was I was game plan. At this point, I'm like, all right, you know, I'm done with the drama. Yeah, and I'm not dating anybody here. Uh, Don't MTV, put me on TRL. Yeah, how, how do I? <laughs> You're how do auditioning I, for TRL. <laughs> how do I host for you guys? This was this was my thing, and uh, that's what I was all, totally thinking about as I was making this episode, and. Yeah, I mean, so personal rating is a. Hey, we we did all right. Yeah. A little obnoxious, though, I must say. Like, just like you know, the ladies coming down no, the way. It's, it's like, no, it's you thought cute. it was all right? Yes, okay. it's I, cute. If it's out in the it's atmosphere, fun. I don't know. No, because we were all hyped up. We were all having a good time. I thought it was cute. I liked it. And we didn't get too drunk. I mean, I think I probably was, but I kept it together, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or when, when it's not about I mean, me. we definitely, yeah, going on stage, doing walking. Yeah, we I had probably, to be a little drunk. We were, Heidi and I were. I don't know if you could tell Heidi and I walked the runway together. Heidi and I were buddies at this point. Were you? Yeah. Like Heidi and I had an instant connection and we, anytime we were all around each other, Heidi and I were the two that would kind of like buddy, buddy up. But I know we were drinking and having fun. I think I was so nervous to walk down the runway that I made her walk with me. Mm. I used to hate that kind of stuff. So. Mm, that surprised me. Yeah. Interesting. Well, you guys did a great job. Thank you. You so guys much. looked fantastic. Thank you. And you're in your little, your furry <laughs> vest yeah, yeah, you know. with like a bikini <laughs> top underneath makes sense <laughs> uh anyways redo um my do-over is i would go with some different pants i okay. mean i know we were uh i don't think of, you got to pick your pants yeah though. we were dressing up i don't know there i just the um i kind of blinded me seeing the outfit that i was wearing just thought it was kind of funny so that's all i had i mean it's that's not good. really too exciting we'll just go we'll go with some different pants all right what about you i don't have one what which is a big deal i know let me think of a do-over for you yeah <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you're, I guess foreshadowing Jessica and Jason, but that was a that was a pickup. So it's not like that was a real. Yeah, you probably would. Maybe you would have had like a, on the maybe with those great looks that you have in this episode, you know, when you're down there and they they use which, you know, obviously you weren't there to witness the whole thing, but they use some looks from you at certain points. I think like, I was just like, up. holy shit. Yeah, yeah. There, well, yeah I, think I couldn't that, defend Jessica. I was like, I don't know what to do here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, Probably just like some sort of like a lollipop or something, some sort of a sucker just to be like, like a little popcorn, prop in there. Like, yeah, yeah, popcorn. Just taking it all in. <laughs> wow, this is Got good. a front row seat this, here. This is good. <laughs> um, okay, my quote is Lauren to Jessica when she says, right now you're being a very rude girl. You're sitting on everybody's laps and you're dancing around. And Jessica's like, whose lap was I sitting on? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I love this tougher Lauren who doesn't let someone walk all over her. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good look on her. Yeah, she she throws the attitude right to her of, of after that moment of, you know, uh, whose lap was I sitting on? And Lauren was like, oh, you don't know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. And then she like Jessica turns to somebody else and says, wait, whose lap yeah. was I sitting on? And Lauren's oh. like, oh, my God, I can't I can't talk to this girl. Yeah. Yeah. So that whole exchange is, is, is amazing. Um, I have uh, what was another quote I have from her? Well, first I have uh, Jason just his I yeah his quote was him yelling into the fan so bah was <laughs> yeah. some, something of the sort I was like oh Genius. man yeah he's just well, well on his way to uh, a good episode <laughs> this is how here it begins. <laughs> uh, and then oh then there's also Lauren the foreshadowing as I mentioned earlier she's like this is uh, a dress rehearsal. Yeah. What do you think dress rehearsal is? It's, it was good. And then Jessica comes back and says, I don't know, pretend? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh man. Great foreshadowing moment between the two of them. Um, and yeah, I mean. Very good. Phew. Where do we go from here? How many episodes are left? We have, so this is episode 15 and we have 18 in season two. Okay, so there's nope, three more. 17. Oh. Two more? Couldn't tell you what happens on the rest of them. There's two more. Yeah, there's seven. So yeah, there's okay. 16 and 17. 
Um, Obviously, there's yeah, fallout known. from the fashion show, so I can't wait to see what happens. I see there was in one of the little preview shots mm-hmm. for the episode. Uh, I am I'm sitting there with Lauren on like a some sort of a like a lounge chair. Like, Steven's is that what back. Happens? Steven's back. They oh, should no. be together. <laughs> but there's something there's, and I I remember some sort of a scene. Where Lauren and I are talking. I think I don't know something on the towards the end of the show, and I wonder. I'm interested to see what this is going to look like. Um, yeah, me too. I also but, have no idea how the season ends. Couldn't I have no idea either. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, I, I thought this might be, again, I also thought I was off the show about four episodes. Yeah, no, you're the not. The fact that I'm still here and then I just <laughs> you saw You barely it. thought you were on this season. I you're still here, the preview. Steven. I'm you're like, still wait, here. I'm here. What am, what am I going to do? <laughs> um, I'm just auditioning for TRL for MTV Literally. at this point. So. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see what happens. A couple more episodes left. It's great. <laughs> Great episode. <laughs> Hope you guys loved it as much as we did. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I so nice. I watched it. Watched it twice. It was a. Uh, it was a need to be reviewed. Um, great episode. Uh, thank you guys for yeah. for tuning into this one. We'll be back uh, next week with another episode. Only a couple more. We will see you guys soon. <laughs> <laughs>